Today we're making low carb chicken casserole. This is actually a really good substitute for chicken and rice if you're on a low carb diet. First start off with grating some cauliflower. The cauliflower is not cooked, it's raw. And the recipe calls for an entire head, but you can certainly just vary that amount depending on really how much cauliflower you want to use. For the chicken, you can use already cooked chicken, about two cups. I cooked up uh, about a pound of boneless, skinless chicken breasts and a little bit of olive oil. And once the chicken was cooked, I added about three tablespoons of cream to this. I've also you made this with evaporated milk as well, and it was just as good. Place your grated cauliflower into a 9 by 13 inch baking dish that's been greased. And then you're going to season the cauliflower with some salt and some pepper and some herbs, either dried or fresh. I used some fresh herbs I had in the garden. I had some parsley and basil and thyme and rosemary, I think, is what I had here. And just I'm just stirring that around to just get the herbs right inside of the cauliflower. The cauliflower is going to cook down quite a bit, actually, as it goes. So it looks like there's a lot, but really there isn't. Then spread the chicken over top and then just pour the liquid that's in your pan over top. And then you're going to sprinkle about a cup of cheddar cheese over top, but you can use whatever kind of cheese that you like, whatever suits your taste. And then bake this at 325 for about 45 minutes. The recipe calls for 15, but it takes a lot longer than that if you want the cauliflower to be cooked. There it is. This is actually a very excellent dish. Um, my family enjoyed it. Even Max ate the cauliflower and he never does. My husband actually asked me what it was. He thought maybe it was couscous or something because he didn't even recognize that it was cauliflower. So it's a great alternative if you're on a low-carb diet. Give it a try.